I think it's vitally important. Uh, it's important if we want to ensure that people's perception of stop and search um, matches what we want it to be. Basically, that is, it's a useful, it's a useful tool in effective policing, but it's always got to be applied fairly. Uh, and in a non-discriminatory way. Now obviously this, this leaflet is actually very for the public to understand what's going on and also presumably so that every single stop and search can actually be recorded properly? Well, stops and searches are always recorded in, uh, properly in any case. There is a separate uh, form that we use to do that. This is purely an information leaflet. It's intended to ensure that people prior to being stopped and searched know precisely the grounds on which they're being stopped and searched and precisely what their, what the rights and obligations of the police officer involved are. Now, do you think that therefore this is going to actually sort of clear up or help to clear up the fear, if you like, about being stopped and why one is stopped? I mean, I know some of the people that said you are not going to be stopped because you are black or you're not going to be stopped because you're from some ethnic minority. Well, I certainly hope that's the case, and Mr. Grant and myself uh, have planned it to be that way. Um, if at the end of uh, 12 months we're in a situation where there are perhaps five or 6,000 of these leaflets in circulation in the borough, and larger versions of them in most public buildings and libraries, then I think we've probably achieved something, because what we've done, we've increased the knowledge base of people so that they understand precisely why we exercise stop and search. Now, um, I can't remember the exact statistics, but you know, yes, uh, they have come out that people from the ethnic minorities are being stopped much more you know, than anyone else. Now, I noticed obviously that we didn't attribute directly to racism, but why do you think that they are stopped more than anyone else? I, I really do think it's a multifaceted problem. Um, one of the difficulties is that the, in, in an area such as this, in many inner city areas, uh, those involved in crime or those on the periphery of crime are likely to be the young, those that are unemployed, perhaps those that are homeless, those that are rootless. Uh, very often, sadly, you'll find that the ethnic minorities, black and ethnic minorities, are disproportionately represented in just those groups. So the fact that they're stopped may be a function of the first reasons and not necessarily their race or colour. Now, I mean, I know it's not in your area, but um, Crystal Rose was obviously talking about being stopped in a flash car. Um, lots of other people in the past have actually, not lots, but several other people in the past have also reported the same thing. Now, I mean, she doesn't, I mean, not being rude, but not necessarily looking that young or unemployed. So obviously there are other reasons too why people get stopped. There are many reasons. There are myriad reasons why people are stopped. Um, and the difficulty is accounting on every occasion uh, to the satisfaction of the person stopped so that they understand precisely why and they accept the reason why. This leaflet goes some way towards it. The, the, the reasons that we can um, marshal to stop and search someone are limited. We must have very, very good grounds for stopping and searching someone. You must always remember that a stop and a search is only just one gear down from arresting someone. It, it's an extreme measure, but it's a measure that's nonetheless very useful to us, and we ought to use it sparingly. Regular reports are going to be released to show how the stop and search <clears throat> regular reports are going to be released to show how the stop and search leaflet may be help <clears throat> may be helping figures, may be improving figures or not. Regular reports will be released to show whether the stop and search leaflets are helping fig <clears throat> are improving figures at all, are improving figures or not. Regular reports will be released to show whether the stop and search leaflet has improved figures or not. Some may view this <clears throat> some while some may view this as a mild while some may view this as a very mild measure to combat racism in the force, other people 
While some may view this as a mild measure to combat, combat racism in the police force, others will see it as a positive step to stop young black people viewing <coughs> positive step so that young black people may view the police not as a potential enemy but as a public service. Regular reports would be released to show whether the stop and search leaflet has improved figures or not. While some may view this as a very mild measure to combat racism in the police force, others will see it as a positive step so that young black people may be able to see the police force as a poten <coughs> Regular reports will be released to show whether the stop and search leaflets have improved figures or not. While some may view this as a very mild measure to combat racism in the police force, others will see it as a positive step, so that one day young black people can view the police force not as a potential enemy but as a public service. Amra Haider, Channel 1, Tottenham. To ask you, have you ever been stopped by the police? Yeah, I've been stopped. You feel humiliated, and most of the time, when you stop by the police, the, the presence alone, you know, humiliates you and makes you feel low. You know, makes you feel you're not human because um, you see other white people moving about, and then you, a black person, you stopped, and you know, you can be one in a million black people. And this leaflet that I've just uh, handed you, do you, do you think that will actually help you feel safer when you stop? Yeah, I think this leaflet is, it will help many, many people because um, not so many people know what to do when um, they're stopped by the police. Like, um, when you're stopped by the police, first of all, um, some people get shaky because they're, they're scared. They're scared of what the police might do to them. But this leaflet, when you have this leaflet and you go through it, like the search you do in the boots and in the search, the search in the car and the boots, people won't allow them to do that any longer. Yeah, what, what would you think if you were doing this leaflet? leaflet doesn't actually make much difference because to me the problems in, in, in the minds of the officers, the suspiciousness in their minds because you know oftentimes you're doing nothing, you know, you're just going along, mind your own business, they want to stop and search you. And you can't think of any suspicious circumstances around your behaviour as to why they want to stop you. And I think that in the main it's their attitude and behaviour that's at fault. Not the fact that they're actually going to stop and search, but actually how they handle you as a person, how they approach you. Well, what's the worst thing that's ever happened to you when they've stopped you? I mean, what, what did you feel was the worst situation, or is it just the fact uh, that you get stopped so many times? Like, well, part of the fact that you, you get stopped so many times, and part of the fact that they're abusive, they don't actually deal with you as a, as a person properly. So that's my, my main complaint is about their behaviour, not so much about being stopped in search. But then again, being stopped in search is part of their mental attitude towards black people in that even now in London, for instance, we make up maybe 2% of the overall population and we're 50% of the people being stopped in search. So, you know, my argument would be there must be a racial element into in what they're doing. It's got to be. So I mean, who, who do you know that's been stopped by the police? Well, um, where I live in Angel, there's a uh, hangaround with a group of Asian people sometimes, and a lot of the time, I mean, some trouble will start somewhere else, but as the police cars come round, they always get pulled up, so uh, they just pull them up, talk to them for no reason whatsoever, and then they go again. How, how much do you think this leaflet is going to help? Well, um, a lot of them don't really know their rights, so I think the least it will show them what they can say, what they can't say, what they're allowed to do. Basically, just tell them their rights, really. So you think it is an improvement? Yeah. Because, I mean, usually when they get pulled up, they don't get told nothing. They're just asked and searched, and that's it. They don't even know if they're allowed to be searched or not. Do you think this leaflet is going to help? 
No, I don't think they're going to open anyway. I think they're just stopping, looking at people and they're stopping them. As you know, they're just looking at people and stopping them. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. Yeah, I was, I was actually asking you the police. Do you think that by the police and do you think that any of like this is going to help you with your relations with the police? No, I don't think so. The only reason why I've been stopped most of the time is just because I'm a black man. That's the only reason why they seem to, seem to stop me. They don't, we're not, they're not really suspicious of me carrying anything on if we start. They just want to see what they, you know, they're just taking a chance and just harassing me. And it, can, it just gives them a perfect opportunity. And that's just gives this leaf, it just gives them a chance to just hand you something and say, yeah, I can search you, here's your rights. That's all I see as. <laughs>